Today, there are about a thousand nanotechnology-enabled products on the market. This market is expected to increase to over three trillion dollars per year. When will your company participate in that market? To make sure that it does, you'll need to answer some important questions. What is nanometrology? Why is nanometrology important? Why is it difficult? And how are measurements made at the nanoscale? One nanometer is a billionth of a meter, about the size of three atoms side by side. Manufacturing has been working in the microscale world between 1 and 100 micrometers, also called microns, for many decades now. Starting about two decades ago, researchers started moving into the nanoscale world. Nanotechnology is the understanding and the control of matter at the nanoscale, basically an area between about 1 and 100 nanometers, uh, where unique properties often take place. And so this, what we'd like to do is be able to measure, be able to image, and begin to understand uh, these materials in order to uh, come up with better products for the future. If you can't measure it, then you can't build it. More exactly, if you can't measure it quickly, precisely, and inexpensively, you can't sell a product and stay in business. Metrology is very, very important for nanotechnology. And this is something that uh, it's obvious from the beginning because here you're dealing with something that has a defined uh, size range, 1 to 100 nanometers. And so the first question is, is the material that you're dealing with fit within that size range? And so if you're talking about something that maybe is around uh, 90 nanometers in size, is that nanotechnology? Yes, according to the definition. But what if your measurement uncertainty or your inability to make a good accurate measurement of this has an uncertainty of 10 or 20 nanometers.